Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the ellipse. Transforming general form to standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is actually part 2 of our video class, the part 1 of our video. We just answered this question. So feel free to see the link in the description down below on how to transform this equation into standard form. Now the part 3 of our video class, we will be answering this one. And this will be quite trickier since we don't have the value of one linear term for x. So check the equation class. We have two quadratic term. Once again, we will know that it is a quadratic term if you have a number together with a variable with exponent of 2. So if the exponent is 2, we call it quadratic term. So we have two quadratic terms and then only one linear term. So not the same with this one. So we have two quadratic terms and then two linear terms. Once again, 2x we call it linear term because the exponent of x is just 1. Same with 8y. We call it linear term because the exponent of y is just 1. Alright, so this is actually requested from one of our subscribers for this equation, for question number 3. So feel free to see the link in the description down below on how to solve this part 3, this question number 3. This will be part 3 of our video class. Alright, so let's focus on this Question class, 4x squared plus 9y squared plus 48x plus 72y plus 144 equals 0. This is the part of our video. Alright, so let's start. Now before that is we need to know the standard form of the ellipse. So this will be the standard form. So we transform this general form into this form. So the standard form that would be quantity x minus h squared over a squared plus quantity y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. So you can also have this equation in which our a is on the in, in line with the y-axis. So once again, class, your a is always the major axis. So you can have this equation or this equation. So let's transform this equation into this form. All right, let's start. So first thing to do, class, is we need to separate the x variables and the y variables. So that would be 4x squared, then copy this one x variables so plus 48x and then next will be you need to you need to put a space class because we need to do the completing the square we need to add a new constant in the equation x so plus all right then copy the y variables so positive 9y squared and then we have 72y positive 72y then equals you put a space then equals you transpose this constant class 144 from left to right. Once again, once you transpose an equation, you always change the sign. Okay, you transpose an equation from this equal sign, you always change the sign. This is positive, it will be negative 144. Alright, so next step class, before doing the completing the square, you check class the variables if we can factor the number. So check the x variables. Can we factor the number? Can we factor out the number? Same with this y. Can we factor 9 and 72? Is there a number that we can divide it both 4 and 48? Yep, we can divide it by 4, right? We can factor this out by 4. So that would be 4, then parenthesis. 4x squared divided by 4. So once again, just only factor out the number. So 4x squared divided by 4. So 4x squared divided by 4. So 4 divided by 4, that's 1. Then copy x squared. 1x squared, or you can write it x squared plus, because understood that any variable, there is a number 1 before x squared. Alright, you can write it x squared. And then you also divide this one, 48 divided by 4, so 48x divided by 4, so 4 positive 48 divided by positive 4, that's positive 12. Alright, and then copy x, so 12x, 12x. Alright, so I hope you get that one class. You factor this out and then you put parenthesis, then copy plus sign. So check class, can we factor 9 and 72? Yep, we can factor this out by 9. We can divide 9 by 9 and we can also divide 72 by 9. So copy 9, then you put parenthesis and then you divide class. 9 y, this one, 9 y squared divided by 9. 9 y squared divided by 9. So 9 divided by 9 is 1. Then copy y squared. Alright, 1y squared, or you can just erase 1 because 1y one, one squared is just the same with y squared. Understood that there's 1 here. Alright, so y squared, then divide this 1, 72y, 
divided by 9. So, 72, positive 72 divided by positive 9, that's positive 8. Then, copy y. 72y divided by 9, that's 8y. And then, you put a space, then equals, then copy this one, negative 144. Alright, so next step class is we do the completing the square. So, to do the completing the square, we do have the formula. So, in this equation, we need to complete this one to make this a perfect square trinomial. So, the formula, that would be b divided by 2, quantity squared. So, our b class is beside x, the linear term. So, beside x, this will be our b, which is 12. So, 12 divided by 2, quantity squared. So, 12 divided by 2 class, what would be the answer? So, 12 divided by 2 is 6, quantity squared. So, once again class, be, do not be confused with this one. 6 squared, it means you multiply 6 by itself twice. This is actually the same with 6 times 6. So, 6 squared, once again, it means 6 times 6. And 6 times 6, that would be 36. Alright, so you plus 36. Now, once again, you will not add 36 directly on the right side because what you do on the, on the left side of this equal sign, you also do that on the right side. So, once we add 36 on the left side, we also add it on the right side. But, be careful with this one class. We will not add 36. Why is that, sir? Because this is not really the equation class. x squared plus 12x. We factored this out by 4 a while ago. So, therefore, we need to get the, the product of 4 and 36. Okay, so that would be 4 times 36, and what would be the answer for that one is the number that we will be adding on the right side. So this will be plus 4 times 36. Alright, so if there's no number here, okay, if you, didn't, if you didn't factor this out, you can just simply add 36 on the right side plus. If this is 36, therefore you will add 36. But since we factored this out a while ago, since we factored this out a while ago, and this is not really the equation, the, this is the equation class. We factored it out by 4, so therefore we need to multiply 4 and 36. And that will be the number that we will be adding. Alright, I hope you get that one class. Be careful with that one. Alright, so next, we do the completing the square in this equation. So our, that would be b divided by 2, quantity squared. So our b is beside y, so that would be... 8. So, 8 divided by 2. So, the equation class, the formula, divide 2, then quantity squared. So, 8 divided by 2, that is 4, quantity squared. Once again, 4 squared, it means 4 times 4. So, you multiply 4 by itself twice. So, 4 times 4, that is 16. So, you will add 16 and this particular parenthesis. So, 16. Now, once again, do not be confused. You will not add 16 directly on the right side. It's because we factored this equation out a while ago by 9. So, therefore, we need to get the product of 16 and 9. 9, 9 and 16. So, that would be plus the product of 9 and 16. Alright, I hope you got this one, class. So, let me just clear these things up. We don't have enough space, class. So, let me just... Okay. Negative 144 plus the product of this one, 4 and 36 plus the product of 9 and 16. Alright, so erase this one. So in the part 1 of our video class, we don't we didn't factor the x variable, so we just simply add the number. But we, since we factor this out, we need to get the product of this number that we factored out, and then the new number that we, do, we will be adding. Alright, so that's why you need to see the part 1 of our video class for you to really understand the process. Alright, so next is we need to make this perfect square trinomial into square of binomial. That would be very easy class. So to make this perfect square trinomial into square of binomial, so first you need to copy 4 because we factor this out by 4. Now to make this one into a perfect into square of binomial, you just get the square root of the first term. So the square root of x squared, that is x. And then you get the square root of the last term, is square root of 36, that would be 6. And then you put parenthesis, close parenthesis, you copy the sign of the middle term, and then you put square. That's it, class. Easy, right? So once again, this is a perfect square trinomial. You make it into square of binomial. So get the square root of x squared, that is x, is square root of 36, that is 6. Copy the sign of the middle term, positive, then 
you put squared. That's it, class. This will be the answer for this one. All right, same with this one. So positive 9. Once again, you get the square root of the first term. Square root of y squared, that is y. And then square root of 16. So get the square root of the last term. Square root of 16, that is 4. You put parentheses, then squared. So once again, get the square root of the first term, that is y. Square root of the last term, that is 4. Then you copy the sign of the middle term. This is positive, you put positive. Sir, if this is negative, so once again, if this is negative, if this is negative 8, you copy negative. Okay? We copy negative sign plus in the middle term. Once again, you get the square root of the first term, y. Get the square root of the last term, 16. That is 4. If this is negative, you copy negative sign. But since this is positive, we copy positive sign. And then squared. Alright, that's it plus. Then equals, we simplify this one. So this will be, we multiply this one plus. 4 times 36. So negative 1 for 4. Then let's multiply. 36 times 4. So this will be plus this one. This is 4 times 6. This is 24. 4 carry 2. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. Alright, plus 144. So therefore, we can cancel this out because this is 0. Negative 144 plus 144, that would be 0. So let me multiply this one first. 16 times 9. So 9 times 6, that is 54. 4 carry 5. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 is 14. Same plus 144 plus 144. Alright, so let me erase this part. So therefore, 100 negative 144 plus 144, we can cancel this out because this is 0. So our equation will be for quantity x plus 6 squared plus 9 quantity y plus 4 squared equals, this is 144. Alright, we're almost done class. So check, once again class, you check. The equation of the ellipse, it says the equation should be equals to 1. Alright, this equation should be equals to 1. So therefore, what would be the thing that we will do to 1, 4, 4 plus to make it 1? Of course, we need to divide it by 1, 4, 4. Because 1, 4, 4 divided by 1, 4, 4, that's equals to 1. So divide this 1 by 1, 4, 4. Now once you divide 1, 4, 4 on the right side of this equal sign, you also do that on the left side to make the equation balance. So divide this one by 144 and divide this one by 144. Alright, so almost done. So check class, can we reduce? Alright, can we reduce 4 and 144? So 4 and 144. Alright, can we reduce 1, 4 and 144? Can we find the GCF? What would be the GCF? of 4 and 1, 4, 4. Let's check this if we can divide this one by 4. So divide this one by 4 and then divide this one by 4. So can we divide 4 by 4? Yep, that is 1. How about 1, 4, 4 divided by 4? So let's divide class. 1, 4, 4 divided by 4. So 14 divided by 4, that is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Then subtract 14 minus 12, that is 2. Alright, and then bring down 4 so 24 divided by 4 that is 6 6 times 4 that is 24 all right subtract 24 minus 24 that is 0 so therefore the answer is 36 1 4 4 divided by 4 that is 36 all right so therefore we can we can divide 4 and 1 4 4 okay we can get the gcf of 4 and 1 4 4 that is 4 so 4 divided by 4 this will be 1 so 4 divided by 4, this will be 1. And 1, 4, 4 divided by 4, this will be 36. Alright, I hope you got that one class. You need to reduce the fraction 4 and 36. Get the GCF, the greatest common factor, and that would be 4. Alright, how about this one class? The 9 and 1, 4, 4. Can we reduce 9 and 1, 4, 4? Let's check if we can divide it by 9. Okay, because the equation class, it says y plus k the number before this parenthesis it should be one okay so understood to be one so therefore we need to divide this one by nine because nine divided by nine is one all right so let's check if we can divide nine and one four four by nine 
So, 9 over 144. Alright, can we divide it by 9? Let's check. 9 divided by 9, of course, that is 1. So, 9 divided by 9 is 1. How about 144 divided by 9? Let's check, class, if we can divide. So, 144 divided by 9. Let me write it here. So, 14 divided by 9. That is 1. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract. 14 minus 9. That is 5. Bring down 4. So, 54 divided by 9, okay, 54 divided by 9, that is 6. 6 times 9 is 54. Subtract, that is 0. So, 16. So, therefore, 9 divided by 9, this is 1. 1, 4, 4 divided by 9, that is 16. Okay, so check. Oh, once again, class, always reduce this equation to the lowest term. Because the number before this quantity, okay, this quantity, it should be 1, class. Check the equation, class. The number before the quantity, it should be this one because it should be 1. Alright, so we just simplify this one. So the final answer for our standard form. So the final answer for our standard form, that would be. So you can just, you can just simply ignore 1. So understood that there's 1 here. Simply copy x plus 6. Quantity squared over, this will be 36. Alright, and then. Plus, so copy y plus 4, y plus 4. Just, you just ignore 1 plus. Understood that there's 1 here. Quantity squared over 16, then equals 144 divided by 144. That's equals to 1. That's it, class. Alright, so this will be the equation, class. Quantity x plus h squared over 36 plus quantity y plus 4 squared over 16 equals 1. Now, if the teacher will ask you to find the vertex, once again, vertex, that would be h and k. So, from this equation class, your h is beside x and your k is beside y. So, therefore, your h is beside x. Now, once again, if this is positive 6, you get the additive inverse. Your answer for h is negative 6. And k is beside y. If this is positive 4, your k is negative 4. You get the additive inverse class. Always remember that one class. When you get the h and k, you get the additive inverse. Okay, so once again, if this is positive 6, your h is negative 6. If this is positive 4, your k is negative 4. Alright, so you get the additive inverse. That's it class. All set for number 2. This is part 2 of our video class. So, once again, I hope you learn in this process class step by step. So if you have some questions with regards to this one, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I hope you learned something new today, class. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your classmates, class, and to your friends so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ, and you have a great day. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.